If you don't go through process, you won't be a tested product. You will become dangerous product. Taiwan. Oklika. You will look like it, like it, but you are not it. And time will prove that you are not it. Just like time will prove that the one that is, is. Time will also prove the one that is not is, is not it. First Peter chapter 1, from verse 7 to 9. See again what he's talking about? He said that the trial of your faith be much more pressure than of gold that perisheth. Do it be tried with fire, may be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ. What is he talking about? He's talking about the trial of your faith. Has your faith been tried? There are people that are supposed to be keeping quiet and they are talking. Because they, are not, they don't have anything to say. They're just evolving things to just keep on causing confusion in the body of Christ. When their retrial of faith will come, survival will be difficult. Let's read further, please. Whom, having not seen, you love. In whom, though now you see him not, yet believing, you rejoice with joy unspeakable and the joy that is full of glory in the midst of the trial of faith. Oh, it's, it's easy to rejoice when there's no trial. How many times have you rejoiced in the midst of your trials? That's process. So as you are seated there this, this morning, or those of you who are watching us online, have you been processed? What kind of product will you become if you are not possessed? Hebrews chapter 12, from verse 5 to 11. Hebrews chapter 12 from verse 5. And you have forgotten the exhortation. We speak it unto you as unto children, my son. Despite not thou the chastening of the Lord, nor faint when you are rebuked of him. Have you been chastised by God? Have you been rebuked? I had a situation that broke my heart so much. So and I went to one of the fathers. I said, this is what I'm going through. He said, what about my own? Ah, I said, sir, I'm encouraged. There's what's called trial of faith. <laughs> what about my own? Let's be further. Show that passage to me. For whom the Lord loved, he does what? He chastises. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Whom the Lord loveth, he chastised. And then he went on to say, is all the, the goal of God is that so that you can be partakers of his holiness. The chastisement of the present does not seem joyous, but grievous. However, ultimately, it produces in us the peaceable fruit of what? Righteousness. I'm talking about process this morning. What we are celebrating is process. Process brought us this far. 